Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna, bro. Krishna, okay. All right, it's seven o'clock. Let's get started. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Sri Chaitanya Manovishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Shayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Utapada Kamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamscha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Ragunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Tadvadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Radha Krishna Paddan Sagana Lalita Vishakam Vitam Sajam He Krishna Karuna Shindo Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Brinda Vaneshwari Shavano Stre Devi Prani Mami Hari Priye Panchakalpa Taru Viksha Kripa Shindu Vebacha Patitana Pavanebio Vaishnavebio Namo Nama Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vashadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna All right, before I start today, I, I will take blessing from all the devotees present here. So, we are discussing chapter number 16. So, the title is The divine and demonic nature. So today we'll discuss verse number six. Let me share my screen quickly. All right, let's recite. Dwau bhuta sargau loke spin. Dwau bhuta sargau loke spin. Daiva shura evacha. Daiva shura evacha. Daivo vistara saha prokta. Daivo vistara saha prokta. Ashuram parthame shrunu. Asuram Partha Meshrano. Thou Bhutas are go spin. Thou Bhutas are spin. Deva Ashura Evacha. Deva Asura Evacha. Devo Vista Rashaha Prokta. Devo Vista Rashaha Prokta. Ashuram Partha Meshrunu. Ashuram Partha Meshrunu. Thou Bhuta Sargo Loke Spin. Thou Bhuta Sargo Loke Spin. Deva Ashura Evacha. Deva Ashura Evacha. 
Devo Vista Rasha Prokta. Devo Vista Rasha Prokta. Ashuram Partha Meshrunu. Ashuram Partha Meshrunu. Anyone would like to reshare it? Okay, Prabhuji, I will do that. So, Bhuta Sargo Lokes Min. Deva Asura Evacha. Deva Asura Evacha. Deva Vistarasha Prokta. Deva Vistarasha Prokta. Asura Mpathame Shuno. Asura Mpathame Shuno. Daiva Bhuta Shargya Lokishmin. Daiva Ashura Evacha. Daiva Ashura Evacha. Daiva Vistarashwa Prakta. Daiva Vistarashwa Prakta. Ashura Partha Meshunu. Ashuram Partham Meshunu. Dvau Bhuta Sargao Lokesmin. Dvau Bhuta Sargao Lokesmin. Dhaiva Asura Evacha. Dhaiva Asura Evacha. Dhaiva Vistarasya Prokta. Dhaiva Vistarasya Prokta. Asuram Partha Meshunu. Ashuram Partha Meshunu. Dvau Bhutta Sargo Lokesmin. Dvau Bhutta Sargo Lokesmin. Daiva Asura Evacha. Daiva Asura Evacha. Daivo Vistarasha Prokta. Daivo Vistarasha Prokta. Asura Partha Meshunu. Asura Partha Meshunu. Go for synonyms. Dwau. Dwau. Who? Two. Two. Bhuta Sargau. Bhuta Sargau. Created living beings. Created living beings. Loke. Loke. In the world. In the world. Aswin. Aswin. This. 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 Devaha. Devaha. Godly. Godly. Ashuraha. Ashuraha. Demoniac. 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 Eva. Eva. Certainly. Certainly. Cha. Cha. And. 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 Devaha. Devaha. Divine. 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 Vistarasaha. 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 At great length. At great length. Proktaha. Proktaha. Said. 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 Ashuram. Ashuram. The demoniac. The demoniac. Partha. Partha. Oshana Pritha. Oshana Pritha. Oshana Pritha. Me. 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 From me, Srunu, Srunu, just here, just here, just here. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Sila Prabhupad. O Shana Pritha, in this world there are two kinds of created beings. One is called divine, and other demoniac. I have already explained to you at length the divine qualities. Now hear from me the demoniac. The purport. Lord Krishna, having issue. All right, let me. I'm getting some echo. All right. L Lord Krishna, having assured Arjuna that he was born with the divine quality, is now describing the demoniac way. The conditioned living entities are divided into two classes in this world. 
those who are born with divine qualities follow a regulated life that is to say they abide the by the injections in scripture and by the authorities one should perform duties in in the light of authority to scripture this mentality is called divine one who does not does not follow the regulative principle as they are laid down in the scriptures and who acts according to his whims is called demoniac or as asuric there is no other creation but obedience to the regulative principle of scripture it is mentioned in the vedic literature that both the demigods and the demons are born of prajapati the only difference is that one class obey the vedic injections and other does not right so i would also like to cover the next verse but uh, before that we'll discuss this first 16.6 o sana pritha in this world there are two kinds of created beings one is called divine and other is demonic i have already explained to you at length the divine qualities now hear from me the demonic hari krishna so we are in the 16 chapter the divine and demonic right so since since last 3 and 4 days we have been discussing uh, this chapter so the krishna is explaining you know the uh, div- divine qualities of a person right he explained 26 characteristics of a uh divine people or pious people right in the first three words uh, uh it it is explained very detail okay so as um, we know this chapter is divided into three section right the first is it's explaining about divine uh, nature qualities then uh, 6 point um 7 to 20 or 22 it described totally on demonic nature and then uh, final verses will discuss about uh, how can we the choice of a uh, person either to which what it's up to them to choose what they want but in this verse you know um krishna is saying um krishna is saying uh, i have explained you in detail about divine qualities now here the demoniac quality so if you see that you know uh, if you if you check this uh, verses i mean uh, the number of verses uh, krishna explain in this chapter uh, for uh, divine quality and the demonic quality so divine qualities he explained 26 uh, qualities in a three verses only but he will keep on uh, talking about the demoniac nature from 16.7 to 20 okay so uh, for the, uh, for transcendental quality he explained uh, he just spoke three or four verses but um for dem- uh, demonic quality he will explain next 10 or you know 13 14 verses and krishna is saying that in this verse i have explained you in detail about um transcendental quality or divine qualities so the question may arise so how it is krishna is saying he explained in detail so if you see this verse right in vistaraha means this means it in detail right at great length i have explained have already explained you at length the divine qualities but uh, that sometimes uh, when we read you know go for uh, you know forward with this chapter we see that krishna is talking about demonic nature from 16.7 to 20 it's like 20 20 i mean 13 verses whereas he spoke just three or four verses for the de- uh, by divine quality how how why krishna is saying um you know i have explained you in detail so here we need to understand that you know krishna is not talking about uh, uh, divine quality in 16 chapter only you know enter bhagavad gita krishna is speaking about uh, the divine qualities right uh, from the beginning chapter second if you see that 
in the uh, second chapter, it very explicitly Krishna explained point 2.54 to 2.72 uh, about the sthita pragna, right? Arjuna asked the question, uh, sthita pragna ka vasa sam, samadhisthya kesava, right? He's asking, wh what is the, who, what is sthita pragna means? What they look like, what is their behavior, what they act, how they, how they sit like that he asked six questions right and krishna uh, elaborately explained the second chapter about you know the sthita pragna how they you know how what does they he's they speak what which language they speak how how does they sit how does the walk you know all this question right krishna explained very elaborately so this is also the, it's nothing but the divine qualities only right uh, that's the second chapter. If you go to the third chapter, also Krishna explains in many verses, like he's giving the example of King Janaka, right? How he lives in a detachment and, uh, you know, uh, having the godly qualities, right? He explained. And if you go further, so fourth chapter, right? Uh, Krishna explained uh, the karma yoga, the um, akarma, bikarma, niskama karma yoga, right? How uh, niskama karma yoga means without any fruity, uh, uh, you know, uh, expectation, if someone is doing the work and uh, giving the all result of that work to in the service of the Lord, that's called Niskama Karma Yuga. That's also the divine qualities of the uh, people, right? And if you go further, right, keep on, you know, chapter five, chapter six, right? Chapter six also describes different types of yogis. And finally, um, Yogi Nam Api Sarvesha Madhkatentra Atmana, right? That's what in the sixth chapter and uh, fifth chapter, Krishna concludes Bhuktaram Yajna Tapasam, right? All the, the, you know, and if you go further, further, right? Tenth chapter, Krishna displays lots of godly qualities of the, you know, divine nature. And chapter 12, chapter 13 to chapter 20, it's completely describing qualities of the devotees, right? Uh, the, uh, you know, devotees should do that, devotees should do that. I like the devotee to act like that. So we elaborately discuss in 13 chapter, you know, and come uh, when we go further to chapter 13, 8 to 12, right? The slokas, right, which describes the, the gradual progression of uh, um, the uh, devotional service. Right. And uh, chapter 14, the transcendental, the three modes of nature. And finally, Krishna concludes that we need to transcend the three modes of nature. Right. And chapter 15, Krishna describes upside, uh, upside, uh, upside down, down tree. You know? Right. So that's uh, describe how, how to detach from this material world. Right, and it, uh, explain about every that uh, the pi. Uh, uh, it's also divine quality. We should detach this material world. Right. So Krishna is not talking about uh, you know only in the 16th chapter. He is keep on explaining. He he spoke enough about uh, divine nature. Now that's what Krishna wants to dedicate his next, uh, you know, six, uh, 16.67 to 20, dedicate about demoniac nature, right? That's what Krishna is saying Arjun, um, in this verse. Um, um, oh, Sana Prita, in this world, there are two kinds of creative being. One is called divine and other is demonic, right? There are, I have already explained, I have given enough thing, you know, from the chapter two to chapter 16, I have spoke, enough about divine quality. Even in the st starting of chapter 16, he gave very ex elaborately the 26 quality of, uh, you know, divine quality of, uh, um, uh, right, divine qualities of uh, the persons, right? So, and we also elaborately discussed, uh, I believe, you know, uh, I was not attending last three days because I was quite busy, but uh, definitely uh, maybe whoever uh, the speaker has spoken, he might have discussed very elaborately the 26 qualities, right? And uh, I, uh, if you see that 26 quality, it's very, um, very uh, right? It's very, you know, the 26 color, uh, qualities also divide into three categories, right? We know uh, it's like uh, art of giving, art of being and uh, characteristic, the sign of behavior. That's what, you know, the, uh, in the art of giving, it goes to the merciful, compassionate friend, magnanimous, equal to all, truthful, performs welfare for others, 
you know, respectful. So this is all art of givings, right? Towards others means how this uh, uh, qualities, um, the it's art of giving means um, how how uh, we will uh, the devotees so uh, towards others, right? That's called art of giving. This is the one section. The other section is art of being, you know, towards self. How the uh, what qualities? How the devotees um, will. Uh, how uh, be himself right it says that the characteristic explained humble you know uh, surrender desireless fixed control six uh, bad qualities grave silent you know these are the quality art of being and the next section you divide the characteristic the signs right uh, the behavior like how clean mild without material uh, procession peaceful indifferent it's only as much as uh, required without uh, any inabilities without false prestige, poet, expert, faultless. So these are the 26 quality very elaborately Krishna explained and uh, that's why it's Prabhupada or it's divided into three different categories, right? Uh, now Krishna will uh, in, in upcoming uh, verses, Krishna... Oh, sorry Prabhu, what was the third category? The characteristics or signs of devotees. Okay, thank you. So, All right. So the, now, so here the Krishna is saying that. Um, so in the purport, Prabhupada says that um, Lord Krishna, having assured Arjuna that he was born with the divine quality, is now describing the demoniac way. Okay. The conditioned living entities are divided into two classes in the world. Those who are born in divine qualities follow the regulated life, and others, they do not, right? The demoniac. Right, so it's all opposite, right? None of the we we uh, we will see that like how you know um, uh, the Krishna described twenty six qualities for um, devotees, the divine qualities. Similarly, he will uh, explain uh, the different qualities of uh, uh, the demo demonians. Like we will see that there is a. It's also divided into four categories, like nature. What will be? The, what are the natures of uh, dem demons? What is their philosophy? You know, what is their mentality and attitude? And what is their action? What they perform? What they do? You know, and finally, what is the, the result of the demonic when they do all this activity? What the result they get? So Krishna elaborately explained from seven to twenty. So this is uh, of um, verse six. Uh, I would like to uh, discuss the next verse also. Uh, does anyone has any questions here? So here, uh, even see the Prabhupada says that one who does not follow the regulative principle as they are laid down in the in the scripture, or, and who acts according to his whims is called de demoniac or asura, right? There is no other uh, creation but obedience of regulative principle of scripture. It is mentioned in the Vedic literature that both the demigods and the demons are born of the prajapati. The only difference is that. Uh, one class always the Vedic injection and others doesn't. So here the Prajapati. Can anyone say that? Who is Prajapati? Manu. Manu. Brahma is Prajapati. Right, right. Brahma is the creator, right? Um, yes. So Brahma is creator. So so everyone, if you go back to our uh, all lineage, right, uh, we start, uh, right? from that, that's our starting, uh, right? So that's why Brahma is called Prajapati. So the, it mentioned in the basis, so both and all the demons and the uh, demigods, everyone, uh, everyone is born from, coming from the same lineage, but um, you know, it's a, it's a choice, right? Uh, how the, how, how uh, one become demons and how one becomes demigods right it's a choice like everyone has a is given uh, the same free will right uh, krishna doesn't want any force anyone but uh, those who are demons they choose to be demonic they 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 their 
their nature, you know, everything is a demonic uh, nature. That's why they become de demons. Whereas the demigods, right? They have, they possess all these 26 qualities. That's why they become demigods. All right. Uh, does anyone any questions before we move to the next verse? Okay. All right. Let me share my screen again. Thank you. So next verse is 16.7. Prabritim cha nibritim cha. Prabritim cha nibritim cha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Na saucham na picha jaro. Na saucham na picha jaro. Na satyam te suvidyate. Na satyam te suvidyate. Prabritim cha nibritim cha. Prabritim cha nibritim cha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Na saucham cha na peach acharo. Na saucham na peach acharo. Na satyam te shubhidyate. Na satyam te shubhidyate. Prabritim cha nibritim cha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Jana na vidur ashuraha. Na saucham na peach acharo. Na saucham na peach acharo. Na satyam te subhidyate. Na satyam te subhidyate. Anyone would like to recite? Okay, uh synonyms prabritim prabritim acting properly acting properly cha cha also also nibritim nibritim not acting improperly not acting improperly cha cha and and janaha janaha Persons. Persons. Na. Na. Never. Never. Viduhu. Viduhu. No. No. Ashuraha. Ashuraha. Of demoniac quality. Of demoniac quality. Na never. Na never. Saucham. Saucham. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Na nor. Na nor. Nor. Api. Api. Also. Also. Cha. 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 And. And. Acharaha. Acharaha. Behavior. 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 Na. 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 Never. Never. Satyam. Satyam. Truth. 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 Teshu. 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 In them. In them. In them. Vidyate. 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 There is. There is. Translation and purport by His Divine Gesh Eshi Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Those who are demoniac do not know what, to, what is to be done and what is not to be done. Neither cleanness nor proper behavior nor truth is found in them. Purport. Okay. 
in every civilized human society there is some set of scriptural rules and regulation which is followed from the beginning especially among the aryans those who adopt the vedic uh, civilization and who are known as the most advanced civilized people those who do not follow the scriptural injection are supposed to be demons therefore it is stated here that the demons do not know the scriptural rules nor do they have any inclination to follow them most of them do not know them and even if some of some of them know they have not they have not the tendency to follow them they have no faith nor are they willing to act in terms of vedic injection the demons are not clean either externally or internally one should always be careful to keep his body clean by bathing brushing teeth shaving changing cloth etc as far as internal cleanliness is concerned one should always remember the holy names of the god and chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare the demons neither like nor follow all these rules for external and internal cleanliness as for behavior there are many rules and regulation guiding human guiding human behavior such as such as the manu samhita which is the law of the human race even up to today those who are hindu follow the manu samhita laws of inheritance and other le- legalities are derived from this book now in the manu samhita it is clearly stated that a, a woman should not be given freedom that does not mean that women are to be kept as slaves but they are like children children are not given freedom but that doesn't mean that they are kept as slaves the demons have now neglected such injections and they think that women should be given as much freedom as men however this has not improved the social condition of the world actually a woman should be given protection at every stage of life she should be given protection by by the father in, in her younger days by by the husband in her youth and by the grown up sons in her old age this is proper social behavior according to the manu samhita but modern education has artificially devised a puffed up concept of you womanly life and therefore marriage is pra- practically now an imagination in, a, in human society the social condition of women is thus not very good now although those who are married are in a better condition than those who are proclaimed their so called freedom the demons therefore do not accept any instruction which is good for society and because they do not follow the follow the experience of great sages and the rules and regulation laid down by the sages the social condition of the demoniac people is very miserable so those who are demoniac do not know what is to be done what is not to be done neither cleanness nor proper behavior and not truth so krishna here further uh, describing the characteristics of the demoniac people okay again at the, at the last paragraph um, prabhupad has given very bold statement about women you know i know uh, whenever this statement comes it it leads to lots of controversial many uh, matajis won't like that but i will will discuss about a uh, uh, little later um so here in a 16.7 um so in the 16.7 um it establishes the the demonic nature right the demons do not know what what is to be done not what to be what should da, what they should do what should not be done they do not know anything because because of lack of knowledge okay so when you see when you say the knowledge right uh, i i believe i believe yesterday or 
or i think man uh, i think monday um ganpati govind prabhu was saying that gyana right what is the real definition of gyana gyana and uh, vairagya right this is we always discuss these two things and uh, and in bhagavad gita also emphasis i mean krishna give more importance to gyana and vairagya right so what is knowledge right we already we know that the the real knowledge is to know about um the soul and super soul and that their relationship between the soul and the knowledge of the matters right matter and spirit that is the real knowledge not the knowledge about the so called modern society right there are much knowledge about uh, uh, you know uh, technologies the latest technologies knowledge about you know uh, i mean scientific knowledge you know the knowledge yeah right but that's not the real knowledge because those those knowledge the the so called the knowledge which uh, in the modern society is uh, proud of that knowledge doesn't help anyone to get rid of the four problems of the life right birth old age disease um, death right it never this this knowledge never uh, uh, fix the problem right this problem this four problems uh, has been there since t- time immemorial they couldn't solve this problem right uh, although they can make this life the way of life more easy okay what they said right or more comfortable that means our shastra says um dukkhalayam aswasatham this material world is uh, dukkhalayam but this modern scientist or modern engineers uh are do not agree that they they think that no this material world is not dukkhalayam we have a technology we have a, a procedure where we make uh, this dukkhalayam to sukhalayam right that's what they're trying to do but but they're not success they're not success maybe they will get some temporary relief from something but they are not able to fix permanently they are unable to fix the death they are unable to fix the um the you know miseries they are unable to fix the uh, birth they are unable to fix the old age right they are unable to fix even if you see that the the very you know live example is the current situation right people are struggling to go out they are dying you know uh, you, you see the thousands of people have, has been died since uh, you know in last 3 4 months right that's what the you know that's the situation so that's not the gyana you know gyana means uh, which leads uh, which help us to come out of this bondage we are stuck in this material world right we our original we lost our original relationship we forget our original re- relationship and the knowledge which which uh, revive our lost relationship with the krishna that is the real knowledge that what is that knowledge uh, how what the knowledge the knowledge of the soul the knowledge of the uh, super soul and the the relationship between them how can we get rid of this material world and go back to the godhead and uh, and and again establish our lost relationship our real identity right um, uh, what is our real, real identity real identity is jibero swarupu he krishna ro nityadas that is our real identity we lost that relationship we forgot that relationship so the knowledge which give us to uh, give us to revive this lost relationship that's a real knowledge you know so that we need to understand but the demon, demonic people they are not uh, they are not agreeing that they do not believe that they do not accept any scripture right um so they 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 do not have a faith on the scripture right they are atheistic they they think that uh, okay the scriptures are uh, written by some human beings okay also they are unclean right the unclean they are not clean sauchyam the word sauchyam means clean right they are not unclean so uh, prabhupad here says that cleanness it should be uh, internally cleanness and externally cleanness right so uh, externally cleanness is means 
we need to keep this body clean right we need to take bath every day you know um we need to wash uh, our clothes we are clean clothes so those are the external cleanness whereas internal cleanness internal cleanness means cleanness of anartha anartha nibriti right that is the internal cleanness actually we born or we are clean from the done but due to come into contact with this material nature we become unclean we we uh, forgot our relationship we forgot our identity and we started uh, committing so many sinful activities in many many lives this is not only our single life right we have taken many 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 birth and in every birth we have committed a number of sinful activities and we accumulated layers of layers of layers of layers of anarthas so internal cleanness how do you clean that internal cleanness means there is no nothing which uh, uh, give us to clean okay is there any any uh, medicine or any any uh, energy juice whatever we call is there something we get which we drink or we eat so that uh, everything is cleaned right we don't we, not, we do not have such thing right like how in the computer uh, the antivirus right if you put antivirus we no mcafee antivirus we just scan it it will scan all the antivirus if any virus is there it will clean it and done our laptop is clean now right we don't have such thing uh, in a human body but there is a process right krishna is given the process uh, although there is not a direct thing but there is a process what is the process that is called anartha nibruti stage where the um, the process is given the the chanting and uh, service right when someone is do the chanting uh, here propad also say that the hari naam chanting hari naam is the best best solution right it will cleanse your heart it remove all your impurities how and the hari naam how should be hari naam should be done with offenseless like we every saturday we read right simply a once although once chant in um, offense with offense it to give some it's give some result but if you want to uh, uh, what do you call fast forward our cleanness process then we should learn to chant offenselessly we should go from you know nama uh, vast stage to shuddha naam right so that's what prabhupada is saying that we need to clean internally also that's where we can uh, remove uh, remove uh, all our anarthas and and here uh, the demonic people they they do not they are not clean internally as well as externally okay and their behavior their improper behavior right uh, they do not they behave properly they have all kind of um, um what do you call Uh, unusual behavior right they have um, they have improper uh, de- dealings they are a- anger they have harshness they are de- all the uh, qualities you can think about right uh, the 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 six uh, uh, six uh, enemies right what are the six enemies does anyone knows the six enemies kama krodha lobha moha madha matsara yeah yes matadi so it's like pride anger illusion right lust greed this is all called right? there's one more uh, uh, attachment so these are all the enemies right so they uh, this uh, demonic demons have all the enemies right so if you think that you know sometimes when i read these verses i feel that you know although i chant do that i have all these qualities that means i am i am i am go under demonic nature right that's what i feel myself so we need to clean that unless until we clean that the six um, six uh, enemies one one cannot we cannot uh, uh, advance in spiritual right i have um, long back i was uh, listening one lecture i think it is um, 
Radhanath Swami Maharaj was giving. And uh, some after the class, someone asked the question, Maharaj, you know, I, I have been chanting for so many years. I don't remember his, uh, the Prabhuji said five years or 10 years, something. So I've been chanting and uh, doing devotional service. So how do you know that I am I'm making advance in the spirituality, right? How do you know, right? So Maharaj says that, Maharaj answered, so these are the six qualities, uh, the six enemies you have, right? And before you come into ISKCON or, uh, or before you started chanting, everyone has these six enemies or six qualities, pride, anger, lust, greed, um, attachment, uh, you know, these are all the great enemies, anarthas. And when you chant, when we chant uh, uh, and uh, do devotional service, slowly this anartha will go away. And that's where we know whether we are advancing in spirituality or not. Like, okay, you might think that, okay, I used to be very anger, you know, but uh, nowadays I'm not getting that much anger. Earlier, I used to be too much greedy of all material things, but my greediness has been reduced. I, I used to be lust. I used to be, you know, I, I used to be in an illusion. So slowly, this, this, this anarthas is cleaned or, or the percentage or the uh, is reduced. If you see those things, then we feel that, okay, I'm making advancement in spirituality. That is the only uh, quantity or measurable quantity where we can judge ourselves, whether I'm making advancement in spirituality or not. If not, that means we need to, again, uh, you know, check, you know, there is a checkpoint, right? In a device, in our software engine, we see that checkpoint, right? We need to uh, uh, stop and do the checkpoint. See, okay, why am I this anarthas? Well, since 10 years I've been doing this thing, but still this anarthas is not going away. Or at least it's not the percentage. Uh, you know, earlier it used to be 100%. At least I should be 50% uh, or 60%. It, it's not going down. That means uh, I'm doing something wrong. Either my process is not correct, right? Something we need to check ourselves. So these are the things, you know, these qualities. And, and all, also the, here the Prabhupada says that with a self-centered, right? The de demon, demons, demons are self-centered. They always think about their self, their pride of their self. They want to do everything. You know, they want to prove something, you know, out of the box. They're always uh, selfish, right? So this is what the demonic, demonic nature and also in the end of the purport, the Prabhupada talks about, you know, the um, following the scriptures, right? The Manu Samhita, the Manu example of Manu Samhita is given the example of in Manu Samhita, it says that women are, you know, um, uh, they are, uh, what is the statement uh, Prabhupada says? Mm. So, the Manu Samhita, it's clearly stated that women should not be given freedom. Okay. So here, the very uh, ex interesting statement like freedom, right? So that's called Manu Samhita is given. And also, uh, Chanakya Prandit says uh, that uh, women are less intelligent. You know, it doesn't mean that they cannot do anything there. They can, you know, spiritually progress a lot, but even um, they should be the Prabhupada given this example, you know, very nice, like in the Manu Samhita. But nowadays, uh, the modern society or many groups like, okay, equal opportunity or there are many slogans are going on, so, you know, right? So these are the things, you know, but, uh, demo, uh, you know, Prabhupada says that demons do not follow the scripture. Scripture clearly says that, but they do not follow that. They think that these are all bogus. There's not... Uh, defined you know anywhere someone they think that it's some ordinary person has created right um, even when um, krishna uh, d uh, appeared in this world they think that it's a ordinary person you know even krishna already told that in chapter 9 verse 11 abhijananti mamudha manusimtanim asritam param bhavam ajananto ma 
mama bhuta maheswara mahesh so krishna says that when the fools deride me when i descend in the human form right abhijananti abhijananti na jananti abhijananti they don't, they understand wrongly about when krishna comes they do not understand krishna is a god they you know they deride right that's what uh, say that and also in the ninth chapter there is a verse called moga samoga karmano moga gyana which is right uh, those who are bewildered are attracted by demonic qualities they are completely bewildered so they don't know what is right what is wrong right so that's where you know uh, to to solve this bewilderment we have a process we have a acharyas right who show us the path that's why we should surrender to bona fide guru when we surrender to bona fide guru then we guru will show us the right path he 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 guide us which is correct and which is wrong right so that's what we 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 need to that's where we can come out of this uh, bewilderment stage it is 9:51 i would like to stop here thank you very much for uh, attending or listening my speech does anyone has any question or any comments we can discuss in next 9 minutes hari krishna so how do you deal with if you're dealing with someone demoniac i mean how does a someone who's a, you know who has divine qualities or devotee qualities deal with a someone who's demoniac so yes mataji it's like if you can give me some little specific you know uh, um little any i'm, specific, I'm yeah. saying in ordinary life i'm not you know i'm not saying okay. like a demon like ravana or something like that <laughs> you know i i'm saying even in our regular you know so many people show demonia qualities you know they're not interested in god they're you know they want to just eat drink and be merry you know right very very sorry mata ji i said very carefully tread lightly <laughs> oh, can right. you can you can you elaborate <laughs> so yeah i mean uh, even uh, uh, if you think that right uh, who is that uh, we know that example of jagai magai they are the great demons and uh, I, i know it's very hard to be humble when someone is being blasphemous or you know right. yeah i mean uh, that's what uh, if uh, you say that's uh, blasphemy someone is blaspheming devotees or krishna like uh, like uh, we need to be very careful and also we need to prove that we need to tell that it's not that simply listen and uh, Say that with the we need to give the proper scientific evidence that this is what happened. Even still, they do not listen. Then uh, right, like we can't. We cannot. Like demigods are the same, you know. Same, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Demigods, yeah. Yes, Mataji. I mean, uh, the, the we need to when even if you I mean after talking multiple times, still they come with the same conclusion. then we need to remember the verse which krishna says bahu naam janma naam ante gyana van man prapadyante that means they they have to take many many more births when finally when they get real knowledge then they will surrender to vasudeva you know till that time uh, we can't do anything right uh, mm -hmm. krishna that's what krishna says you know bahu naam janma naam it takes many births because all the demons they they will take birth after birth after birth that finally they get knowledge Oh, they will get knowledge and then they'll start surrendering to uh, mm -hmm. krishna and again krishna says that uh, you know vasudeva sarmati sa mahatma sadurlava such a great such people are very rare to achieve right, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I, we need to say. i get what you're saying yeah. yes i have another question and jiva maybe you can answer this how did uh, devotees in the iskan movement take that woman statement how are there any instances of controversy with that statement i mean the younger generation like my daughter generation would like flip out if they heard that statement you know i mean i understand being of an older generation i perfectly understand that statement that shri prabhupada is making and i understand that for us spirituality is on on the level of the soul and not of the body you know but how do 
you know, Western women or, or, you know, how do you explain it to the younger generation who would, would perhaps not accept such a statement? Is Jeeva still there? Yeah, I'm there. Well, it doesn't mean that women can't do uh, like what men are doing these days. Um, it's referring to, I believe, I mean, that women, when it comes to um, like leadership, um, oftentimes it's not recommended that the women go into leadership because the emotions are stronger in the women. She tends to listen to her emotions more than her intelligence. But these days, women are kind of trained a little differently. Yeah, they're more like men sometimes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and but, I go ahead. Sorry. Oh, but it, it seems like it's easier to exploit or take advantage of a woman than a man. And I also want to make the point that that is speaking of a woman when men also were quality men. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who, who in today's world, that kind of a statement does not you know, is, is, is has to be qualified because the men are also degraded and men the women- Men who are attached to women are like women. What's that? Men who are attached to women are like women. I've heard right, that. Right, right. So, so, you know, men also exploit women and sometimes you can't say they can't get their own freedom because they want to get away from certain and, circumstances, you know, and, so they have, they're forced to have freedom. And men or they need freedom. And these days, oftentimes men will follow their emotions also, like anger. Exactly. Attach yeah. Attachment. You know, the intelligence isn't as strong and developed as right, previous. Right. Previous, uh, yeah. In spiritual life, we try to focus on uh, preaching like in spiritual life, we're all spirit souls, we're not these bodies. The bodies have. Um, I mean, men can't have babies. You know, there's obviously differences between the two. Yeah, and they and both have a both. role to play, which is yes. which is an important role. It, the, the roles are not any diminished, you know. Right, and they're meant to enhance one another, you know. Right, and right, and complement complement each other. Yes, for a peaceful society. Mm -hmm. No, I fully agree, but. Right, you know, it's, things are topsy turvy a little in yeah, this yeah. age. I know. Yeah. I mean, but it's there in the shastra, you know. So. Yeah, the shastra is not wrong. I fully right. agree. Right. In yeah. an ideal, ideal circumstance, yes. Right. right. Also, you know, some of the purport Prabhupada says that women are more inclined to spiritual growth. I mean, spirituality yeah. than men. Yeah, he does so, say that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's soft heart. And uh, yeah, so that's you know, although you know, <laughs> whatever less intelligent, but ultimately we need a spiritual right. So that's women are ahead of men. <laughs> but the whole point is, we're not men, we're not women. We we're made right. to transcend all these things. It's all bodily. Yeah, features, body. Body designations. So. But. But we do see the great souls like Queen Kunti, Haridas Thakur, they accepted these positions out of humility. Like Haridas Thakur didn't try to barge into the Jagannath temple. Exactly, said, yeah. He, he said, I'm born in a fallen, you know, low class family. You know, he stayed at some distance, offered his obeisances to the chakra. You know, but here he is, the greatest soul, you know, Queen yeah. Kunti. How can we women know you properly? Here she's, you know, offering these exalted prayers and, you know, very advanced personality. Yet she, for so, um, social uh, peace and harmony in society, you know, she accepts this position. And Haridas Thakur, because he couldn't go to the Lord, the Lord came to him. You know? Every day, every day. Every day, exactly. Exactly. And that's, you know... <laughs> I mean, who has that privilege? Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, it's uh, different devotees have written things on it, like uh, Vishaka, because it is an issue. And uh, but we are all born as is as, as Kali Yugans. We're all fallen automatically, you know. 
born in this day and age. And whatever position we're in, we accept that as due to our past, lower, higher, whatever, it doesn't matter. We can make advancement from there. It's all low in Kali Yuga, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to preach to people, we just focus on the spiritual. Try to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Register, uh, we have a meeting at eight uh, in the bridge. Yes, Prabhu. I think we are uh, done. So thank you, everyone. Bancha Kalpa, Thank you, Prabhu, for a nice lecture. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.